Symptoms of the leak in the radiator hose of your car. Welcome, everyone, in today's video. We're going to look at symptoms of a leak in the radiator hose of your car. But before we proceed, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Car cooling systems rely on a series of hoses to carry coolant around the engine, connecting the radiator to the expansion tank. The hoses extend to other components like the heater core and pump, ensuring that all parts of the engine receive a constant supply of coolant or antifreeze, often referred to as car radiator hoses. These channels comprise three parts, including a central tube, a layer of reinforcement, and a cover. That might sound like adequate protection but remember that these hoses need to work in a demanding environment where they're subjected to extreme temperatures and daily wear and tear. Because of this, problems with car radiator hoses are not uncommon. In fact, if any component of your cooling system was to fail, chances are it would be a hose that went first. Symptoms of a leak in the radiator hose of your car are 1. Coolant leaks Coolant leaks are one of the most common symptoms of a faulty radiator hose. They happen when the hose either deteriorates due to heat or abrasive damage or when there's a problem with the clamps that connect the hose to another component in the engine. If a radiator hose is leaking, there are a few signs to look for. A pool of fluid under the car when it's been parked, small drips of coolant around the engine bay, and moisture marks on the outside of the hose. 2. An overheating engine. It's important to establish the cause of the leak so you know how to fix the problem. For example, if there's a hole or crack in the hose, you may be able to plug the leak with a product like ragweed. Alternatively, if it's leaking due to a bad connection, it may be a case of replacing the clamp rather than fixing the hose. 3. Heat damage Although radiator hoses are designed to hold up against high temperatures, they can degrade if they're in contact with hot components or if the coolant is ill-maintained and not dissipating engine heat as it should. The signs of heat damage to look for on your car's radiator hoses are a hardened finish, usually on one side of the pipe, which can lead to cracking and degradation if left untreated. 4. Electrochemical Degradation If your car's radiator hoses are leaking because of a bad connection, it may be due to a process called electrochemical degradation. This happens through a process whereby metals within the cooling system create an electrical charge, which is passed through the system via the coolant. The electrical charge caused by ECD can degrade radiator hoses over time, causing internal cracks which can weaken them from the inside out. These problems generally occur close to metal clamping points. A telltale sign is a hose that feels soft or sagging when you grip it. 5. Abrasion As engines have become smaller and more compact, radiator hoses are now tightly packed into the engine bay. This contributes to the demands placed on the hose material, making it more likely for extreme heat and abrasion to affect its long-term durability. Abrasion damage is a common symptom of a faulty radiator hose. Caused when the hose rubs against other components, it can lead to holes and cracks forming on the outside of the pipe, meaning a replacement is almost always necessary. To prevent problems, it's advisable to route the hoses in such a way that they're not in contact with any hot or sharp components or edges. If you suspect radiator hose abrasion could be happening under your car's bonnet, talk to a mechanic who will be able to recommend the best solution. In conclusion, as soon as you notice the following, bad radiator hose symptoms, broken radiator hose, collapsed hose, low coolant, coolant leaked, or engine overheating, inspect the culprit or contact a professional mechanic to diagnose or replace the lousy radiator hose. That's all for today's video. Feel free to share any helpful information we've missed in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.